Emperor. Dominate the Alliance War Battlefield and become Emperor of Tamriel. Long may you reign. This is an achievement that I never thought I would get. Like, I got some cool achievements in Citadel, like I, for example, managed to kill an enemy Emperor with a lucky ballista shot from a castle wall once, but the Emperor achievement? No way. Here's how you become an Emperor for those of you that don't know. In Elder Scrolls Online, the Citadel is a massive battlefield where Ebonheart Pact, Daggerfall Covenant and Aldmeri Dominion fight over control of keeps, outposts, resources and towns. I'm on the Ebonheart Pact, which is the Red Faction. Now there are also multiple different campaigns, but by far the most popular one in Europe and the one I play in is Greyhost. This also makes it the hardest campaign to get an Emperor in, especially if you want to do it legit and you don't just crown the Emperor while everyone else is asleep. This was not an option for me, because on Greyhost EU, Daggerfall Covenant and Aldmeri Dominion have far, far more night and morning players than the Ebonheart Pact, so they always dominate the map from about 10 o'clock in the evening up to about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Now, the game keeps track of how many alliance points you got in these campaigns and they reset every month. And in order for someone to become an Emperor, two things need to happen. They need to have the most alliance points out of the entire faction and their faction needs to capture all six of the keeps around the Imperial City, those being the Blue Road Keep, Castle Lacia, Castle Roback, Fort Ash, Fort Aylswell and Chalman Keep. So not only do you have to farm like hell and outfarm everyone else in your faction, your faction also needs to push fairly deep into the territory of the two opposing factions and hold all six of the keeps at once. If that happens, while you're at the top of the alliance point game, you are crowned an emperor and you will stay an emperor until all six of those keeps have been taken away from you. Now just to give you an idea of how difficult this is to pull off on Greyhost, in the last two weeks since the campaign reset, Ebonheart Pact has crowned three emperors, as far as I know, in the entirety of Europe. One of those emperors, of course, being me. And it was a complete accident. I didn't plan for this at all. It just kind of happened. You see, two weeks ago on a Friday, I was playing around with a new Brawler Stamsorg build and I wanted to try it out in Citadel. So I jumped into Greyhost Citadel and I started running around being an annoying little pest, capturing enemy resources and all that to try and draw people out to fight them because it was fairly early in the morning so there weren't that many people in Citadel. About half an hour later I opened up the campaign menu only to realize that I actually jumped in about 5 minutes after the campaign had reset and I'm now number 3 on the Emperor list. Because turns out the build was pretty good and I was dunking people left, right and center so I was getting a decent amount of AP. That's where the idea started brewing because I already had my video finished for the day and I was like well I wanted to take a few days off because I've been making a lot of videos lately so I might take Saturday and Sunday off and just keep pushing because what if, right? What if? Crazier things have happened before, let's keep going. And kept going I did, I ended up placing firmly in the third position on day one which was Friday, then I climbed up to number two on Saturday and by Sunday I was actually number one. And I held it throughout Monday as well, though unfortunately we weren't able to crown an emperor in the first four days. This is where the stress kicked in, this was the most stressful time of the entire push because I knew I wouldn't be able to play as much throughout the rest of the week and other people were slowly starting to catch up to me. So I went to bed on Monday and when I woke up on Tuesday I was down to number two and the guy that was ahead of me was ahead by quite a bit. This guy was playing a lot, like a lot a lot. Like when I jumped into Citadel he was already there and when I went to bed he was still there. Then at some point, I don't exactly remember which date was anymore but he became an emperor, right? We crowned him and I asked him if he was gonna drop the campaign and he said no. This is sort of another obstacle that you have to deal with when you want to become an emperor. If someone farms like hell and is ahead of everyone else, they can just stay at number one and be essentially your faction's emperor for the entire campaign. And this basically made me give up. I didn't really play all that much and I was just like, yeah, you know, it was a nice try, but oh well. But then another guy started farming like hell and actually overtook me and became number two and eventually convinced the guy that already got crowned to drop out so that he could get Emperor as well. When I saw that, I was like, hmm, am I, hmm, yeah, am I gonna push again? Ah, so did. So I started farming again to maybe catch up to this new number one guy so that once he eventually gets Emperor, I would be next in line if he were to drop out. So we farm and farm and farm and we sort of talk and do stuff and eventually he does get crowned an Emperor on, I do believe, Sunday. I left for lunch and when I came back he was an Emperor. So I asked him the same question again, are you going to drop out? And he said no. 
And I pleaded with him for a little bit because at this point I was just like, dude, I can't do this for another week. This is just too much. I, I just I just can't farm more AP. But there was a silver lining to this because he did say that he was not going to play a lot the following week so that I can easily overtake him because I wasn't too far behind. I was about 500,000 points behind and I can get crowned the next week. Now, at first I was a bit hesitant because I was pretty much done. I farmed a lot, but... Eventually on Monday I caught up to him and overtook him by a little bit, then on Tuesday I pushed about 500,000 points ahead of him, on Wednesday I pushed about 1 million points ahead of him, then on Thursday and Friday I was hitting about 1.2 to 1.5 million points ahead of him and on Friday night I was crowned an emperor. And you know what the funniest thing about this is? I didn't even get to be an emperor. I went to bed, they pushed and crowned me about an hour later, and before I woke up, I was dethroned, <laughs> so I didn't even get to be an emperor. All I have is this screenshot that a friend I made along the way sent to me on Discord of me being crowned, as he actually pushed for me and actually got me the emperor at like 11.30 at night. And this is a very important point, by the way. It is basically impossible to get emperor if you don't have a lot of people around you that are willing to help you out. This wasn't just me. Yeah, I did a lot of farming and I got a bunch of alliance points, but in the end, if I didn't have a bunch of friends and a bunch of people around me that wanted to help me get emperor, this would have been impossible. So this video also serves as my extended thank you to any of you that may have been present in this absolute insanity of an emperor race. So yeah, I finally became an emperor and I'm never doing it again because it was just way too much farming and I don't think I could go through it again. But I'm glad that I stuck with it and I ended up being crowned an emperor, even if I didn't get to play as one.